It's lavender season here. It's time to make hydrosol and essential oil. Hey everybody, let's make some lavender essential oil. It's lavender season and the bees are almost done getting all their nectar from the lavender. The lavender still has plenty of essential oil in it. And we are going to use our Beaver three gallon alcohol distiller. And I have made a few modifications so that we can do an essential oil distillation here. So without delay, I'll show you my setup and then we will start our distillation. So let's get to it. Woohoo! <laughs> Use the modified steamer for the steam distillation. Using fresh spring water or distilled water, fill the still to the level of the vegetable steamer. Then go ahead and add your lavender until you reach three to four inches from the top of the still. Remember to put the washer on the top side of the lid, bring it to finger tightness, then use a wrench to tighten it the rest of the way. Now with the copper tubing, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing with the washer being on the outside of the lid to create that seal that we need. And you're gonna bring it to finger tightness again, and we'll use the wrench to tighten it the rest of the way. Now you can put your lid on, point it in the direction of your condenser so that those can hook up to each other. Again, start with finger tightness here. You're not gonna to wanna to have your condenser on top of the pot. If you have it on top of the pot, it's going to be absorbing all that heat that's coming off of the pot itself. And the whole point of the condenser is to cool it off. Now, the next thing that we need to do is test the flow of our condensing unit and the pump. So I'm gonna put some water into the thermos and turn the pump on and then we're going to regulate the flow of the outflow and the inflow using these valve stems so that the inflow and the outflow equals each other and the level of the water inside the condenser never changes. You'll be adding a little bit more than two liters of water to the condenser. With the condenser unit filled, you can go ahead and open up the valves until you reach that sweet spot, which is going to have to be monitored the entire time, actually. Now that we've got the ice in there, let's keep watching that water level. Okay, it seems to have taken forever, but I think I found the sweet spot there. So here we can see that the condenser is nice and cold with that condensation on the outside. The vapor will be coming in from the still, going through the copper tubing, out that tubing, and into the separation funnel. In the thermos, we have the ice block with our submersible pump, the outflow and the inflow tubing are both inside the thermos and they are able to keep the condenser cold and the vapors condensing into their liquid state. Okay, with the temperature rising there, we're approaching 200 degrees Fahrenheit and the still is starting to show signs that things are beginning to happen. You can actually hear it inside the copper tubing changing state. And the sound comes just before it starts to come out through the tubing. Oh, look at that. There's our first drops of hydrosol coming in. Look at how much are ready. Alright, so now that we are producing oil, 
I am going to lower the heat output on the stove so that we maintain that 200 degree temperature. perfectly normal to see steam rising from the condenser and we're going to want to keep that water level as close to the top as possible so that the copper tubing is exposed to that cold for as long as possible. We'll give the condenser another check and ooh. Look at that, the level is pretty high, so we're gonna lower that by adjusting the valves. So those teeny little air bubbles that you see there on the copper tubing, that indicates where the gases inside the tubing are still so hot that they are generating gas bubbles in the water that's touching the tubing, and they cling to the tubing. Once those are gone, you can be assured that the Gases have changed their phase into hydrosol and essential oils. Using the insulated thermos helps to keep the ice around a little bit longer to keep that water nice and cold for the condenser so that it can do its job to change the state of the vapors to a liquid. We have got essential oil coming out there. Check that out. <laughs> so the hydrosol and the essential oil fills the bottom narrow part of the funnel very rapidly. However, it takes a lot longer to fill that wider part of the funnel. Overall, it takes about an hour once we have the hydrosol and the essential oil condensing. So with the ice melted completely in the thermos and the condensation absent on the outside of the condenser. I am melting blocks of ice on top of the condenser itself. Okay, so we have our essential oil from our first run. We will let the system cool down. We will separate the oil from the hydrosol. To start, we'll open the valve completely so that the hydrosol can empty quickly and then we will slow it down when the oil gets to the bottom. You can see the layer of oil thickening rapidly as the diameter decreases, and we'll take it just above that opening so that we get the oil separate from the hydrosol. Then we'll just let a teeny little drip out through the opening and we will get rid of any bit of hydrosol. Empty the essential oil into your test tube and then you're done. And look at that folks. We have lavender essential oil and lavender hydrosol. So we were actually able to do three runs with this harvest. This is the second run, and we got a nice amount of essential oil for that run as well. In the third run, we filled up the funnel even higher than the first and the second run, and we got even more essential oil out of that run. So you can see that the final volume of your distillation and your essential oil is directly related to the volume in the separation funnel. And it's up to you to decide if it's worth the wait. Totally stoked. That's very exciting. So be sure to take a moment to relish in your victory. Mmm, that smells so good. And the hydrosol is such a refreshing delight. <laughs> right, Con? Yes, so now that you've seen how easy it is, you can get your own still and join me. Remember to like and subscribe so that you can follow along and make more essential oils with me. 
You are smart, you are blessed, and you can do anything.